We know from various lines of experimental evidence that solid sodium chloride consists of an ordered three-dimensional array of sodium and chloride ions. Solid sodium chloride is not a conductor of electricity. The ions of the ionic lattice are held in place by the strong ionic interactions in the solid and therefore are not free to move under the influence of the electric field. When sodium chloride is dissolved in water, it forms a solution of separated sodium and chloride ions. The presence of ions in the solution is responsible for the fact that the solution is a conductor of electricity. Substances such as sodium chloride that exist in aqueous solution entirely or nearly entirely as ions are called strong electrolytes. By contrast, an aqueous solution of a non-electrolyte, such as sugar, does not conduct electricity. And that's because for sugar, there are no ions. Yes, it dissolves. Uh, and we'll talk more about non-electrolytes later. But um, sugar is, uh, there are no ions. But for sodium chloride, the light bulb was lit up because those ions are in solution. And so a simple test for ions in solution is to do this type of experiment. Do not try this at home, but you can see uh, that the ions are actually allowing the light bulb, the ions from sodium chloride are allowing the light bulb to light up.